Hello and welcome. In this video, I will present to you the available BEAS Web Services. To work with BEAS Web Services, you need SAP installation, BEAS manufacturing installation, personal entry in the system, and you don't need any knowledge in HTTP or Web Administration. In Human Resources Administration, personnel, insert an employee and a card number to connect to the web services. The BEAS web services are available in the web server window. The web server is immediately available after the window is opened. The window consists of an HTTP server and an application server. You can activate this checkbox to start the server automatically and the system searches for the correct IP address and the next free port number. We can test this by clicking on the first entry in this window, that is the Web Apps Terminal 2.1. Just insert the card number set in the personal definition and you can access the terminal with all web apps previously defined for the user. Once inside, you can pick an app and work inside it. Now let's go back to the desktop solution. From the web server window, you can also access the licensable web product configurator. For this, we need an internal user and a business partner defined in SAP to access the interface. With this module, you can further configure items that have a configuration stored in the system and create or cancel sales documents with them. From the web server window, here you can access the BAS service layer, which operates similar to the SAP service layer. It is a middle layer between the application, front-end or another back-end, and the database. You can create web applications and services without developing a back-end. The common service is a simple interface provided to work with asynchronous services like printing or other third-party services that you wish to connect to the system. Services must be installed on the server. This is only possible by connecting to the server with an admin user. For this, let's go to the SAP menu, Administration, Utilities and the BAS Menu Server window where you can register all services. Select New from the right-click menu, insert the name, for example, HTTP Server, activate the Web Application Server checkbox, then click Update. Then start the service with this button. For this, you can use a web server port that you can define here. You can define the correct path for the protocol and see the result in the left button screen section. Here we can see that the server attempted to start the HTTP server on port number 8080, but it was not possible as it is reserved for another service. We'll just enter another port number and click Restart. Now we can see that the following restart on a different port, number 88, everything is working properly. You can check if the web service is running by clicking on the arrow right of the Web Application 2.1 field and the opening web browser will verify that. This concludes our short summary of BEAS web services, their availability, basic operation and setup. Thank you for your attention and please stay tuned for our upcoming videos on our channel.